Hey folks, it's Mark, Dispersed Camp Man, and I am currently dispersed camped in the northwest part of Arkansas in the Ozark National Forest. This is part of the White Rock uh, WMA, Wildlife Management Area, and you can probably see my campsite down this road right here. You see me camped out there in those uh, tall pines. Hey, in order to get here uh, from Interstate 40, I'll be turning on to uh, Highway 23, and then about 12 miles down Highway 23 North, I'll be taking a uh, left onto uh, Lake Shores Road. And about two and a half miles on Lake Shore Road, I'll be turning a left onto this uh, dirt road right here, which is uh, 1501X. And pretty much almost at the very end of 1501X is where I'm dispersed camped at. Let's take a look. As I said, folks, here's a uh, Shores Lake Road. Pretty good little road and be turning on to uh, this uh, 1501X road according to the National Forest uh, Motor Vehicle Map. So they've been doing some logging out here too. You can see me right there. This first camp or set up uh, underneath the pines. And this road does dead end and uh, Mulberry River, which I will take you down there shortly. Beautiful area. Up there, folks, is where I'm dispersed camp that little ways off the road. I'm kind of under some tree cover, so I wasn't for sure if I'd be able to use my uh, Starlink. But I noticed off to the left right here, I got this big open field. And the sky is pretty, uh, pretty open right there here. So I grabbed my 150 foot cable, Starlink cable, and just ran it from my truck to right here. And um, once I got it set up, I uh, initialized it, and for about, about four minutes, it was actually uh, picking up internet. And I had some pretty good blazing fast internet out here in the Ozark National Forest. I'm really liking this uh, Starlink. Uh, the, main, the main problem with Starlink is you do have to have a pretty clear area of the sky, but you know, I really don't have no clear area right there only clear area is right through here so yeah even with this small opening to the sky to the satellites I am getting uh, pretty fast internet once it got initialized like I said it took about four minutes to get initialized and I'm very happy with that uh, 150 foot cable I got I bought with it it's coming in handy on down to that road right there, I think you're almost here. It's the Mulberry River. If you listen real quiet, you can hear the rapids. You can almost see the river right there. More on that later on. So here's my campsite right here, folks. Pretty cool. There is no cell service out here at all, like zero bars. I mean, if you run up and down these roads, you might get some a little bit here and there. In this area right here, there is zero cell service. That's why I'm really liking my uh, Starlink. I'm able to get cell server. Well, I should use my phone because I use internet cell service from don't have no cell service. <clears throat> this is a pretty good level surface right here. Like I said, last time, I kind of like my front tilted up. So I'll get my ramps out, get on just a little bit to tilt my front up just a little bit. I did uh, start a fire. I think it was two nights ago. Got some uh, sticks and some wood and uh, built me a nice little fire. That's pretty cool. And I have been uh, tinkering around with some solar. <clears throat> this is a 100 watt panel. I've got it going straight to my onboard uh, deep cell battery. That's the bad thing about uh, forest camping. I mean, you don't have hardly any sun ever. That's why I've never really got into uh, solar. Because I was never out, you know, I'm always camping in the desert. Or not the desert, but the forest. And it's hard to get full, full sun to do any good. Look at that view. Golly. I do have my security cameras up. These are battery operated. They work pretty good. I'll activate the alarms on them. It'll notify me if you made camp, any movement. And I did bring my Honda Rally. 
I'm loving this little beast. It's easy and compact. It's easy to, to bring along with me. That's what I like about it. Just throw it on my uh, rear bike rack. It's comes along real easy with me. It weighs about 350 pounds. Loving it. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Fall is definitely here, folks. The leaves have changed, so a lot of leaves have fallen. There's still some hanging on. I think the best time of camp is in the fall. Great weather out here. At, uh, I think, the lows 50s and the highs 70s. I know some of you guys would like to come out here and check out my spots that I uh, show you guys. All I want to start doing, or try to start doing, is go ahead and uh, jump on my uh, motorcycle. I'm going to go down to the end of the, this road. This is uh, Shore Lakes Road. I'm going to go to the end of it where it meets up with uh, Highway 23. And from there, I'm going to ride you in and let you know how the road is. Take a look. Hey folks, we're at the end of the uh, gravel road, and right there is the way I came in. About nine miles that way is uh, Interstate 40 and the town of uh, Ozark. And this road right here is a Highway 23, or it's also the Pig Trail Scenic Byway. It's a pretty popular little uh, road that people uh, like to drive, especially during the fall. The leaves start uh, turning colors. And this right here is the Shores Lake Road also Forest Road 111. The Shores Lake Road, I'm just first camped up there about uh, two and a half miles up there on the left. I'm just going to bring you, I thought I'd bring you right here and show you what type of uh, road this is if you decide to come out here. Like I said, this is a Shores Lake Road, what the sign says right there. And right up here, Shores Lake is 11 miles and White Rock is 18 miles. There's also a Baptist Vista camp up here, which is 1.7 miles up here. I'll point it out when we get up there. Also, I think I love seeing these signs right here entering motor vehicle restriction area. That means you're uh, entering the national forest. There's another sign right here. If you don't watch, you'll miss it. It says uh, White Rock Wildlife Management Area. And this also is Zone 670. If you're trying to figure out what zone you are, if you're going to be hunting out here. So yeah, this is the uh, White Rock uh, Wildlife Management, which is part of the Ozark National Forest. And as you can tell, the road is pretty good. I keep this road well maintained. It's very wide, easily two vehicles can pass each other without having to stop. This is a very nice road. Like I said, it gets well maintained. And here in a little bit, you'll be able to see the Mulberry River here on the on the left up here. And uh, Mulberry, this uh, the Shore Lake Road does follow the Mulberry River a little bit. Right there where that cabin's at right there, it's up on stilts. So we'd be able to start seeing the uh, Mulberry River. That's a pretty cool little cabin right there I wouldn't mind having. <laughs> right there's Mulberry River you can see. And right up here of course, there is some private property down through here. So be aware of that. Like I said, the road pretty well maintained. Right up here is the uh, church campground. We have summer camp here. Not a little bit of everything. Basketball goes, swing sets, there's baseball diamond right there, volleyball. It's got a uh, pool. There's some uh, bunk houses where they sleep at. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Summer camp in the Ozarks. Leaves have definitely turned. It's definitely fall. Right 
down there is Mulberry River. Pretty much following the road. And look at this view right here. You got your little lookout point right here. Pretty cool. Looks like there's somebody uh, camping right there in their vehicle. It's a pretty cool little spot right there. You can tell the road's still good. Like I said, they uh, really make, keep this road maintained. It did rain last night. Even a little bit of rain we got. Road's still good. about a 2.6 mile into my camping spot. This is my turn right here. There's my camp spot right there, my truck camper. Looks like they uh, cleared this out. I'm doing some uh, thin and out. This is a pretty good little camping spot right here, folks. We make this last turn on down there is the uh, Mulberry River. And make this turn, and this is uh, home sweet home, folks. I'm really enjoying this spot. Not too bad of a road coming in. It's like I said, it's like 2.6 miles from highway 23 to get to this location right here roads in pretty good shape and i mean it's gonna be the best road you can possibly uh, drive on for a gravel road they do uh, keep them well maintained like most of you always know uh, as soon as i get here and while i'm here i jump on my motorcycle and i like to run the dirt roads around here i like checking out other places see if there's any other camping spots or just uh exploring the area I was up here a ways, and uh, I noticed a uh, waterfall over there. Uh, so I jumped up a motorcycle and took a look at that waterfall. Take a look. Beautiful area, folks. Different color leaves and everything. I'm stopped here at the uh, waterfall. I'm parked on the side of the road. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a waterfall way down there. I'm gonna try to make my way down there, see if there's a trail or something. We'll check it out. Yeah, I'm further up the road. Oh, there's a trail. Takes you right to the top of the waterfall. Let's see if there's any way to get down there. But having to hike a half mile. That's pretty cool. Slippery cow. Yeah, maybe make it right over there. Here we go. Yeah, looks like it goes way down in there. Wonder what lives in there. Looks like somebody slid right there.
I saw this uh, spot on uh, Google Maps. Because normally when I uh, camp out somewhere, I jump on my motorcycle and just explore the surrounding area, you know, five miles out, wherever. We swim down the dirt roads. I'm uh, mainly looking for dispersed camping spots and cool attractions like this. Let's take a look. I was right up there, parked my motorcycle, walked around, came down, came down through here, and at the base of the uh, waterfall. Pretty cool looking. And I've said before, the Ozarks do not disappoint. And I'm going to leave the uh, coordinates to this location um, in my uh, video description if you're interested in coming out here. The road in to this point is uh, pretty good. I mean, it's really, really good. So you should have no issues coming here to find this spot. And according to Google Maps, that waterfall, they've labeled it as Phipps Branch Waterfall. Uh, I especially like exploring the area and checking out the spots you went up onto. And that's a pretty cool little waterfall. Like I said in the video, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this uh, video uh, in the video description the uh, coordinates to that waterfall if you want to go out there and check it out. If you do go down there to the bottom, be very careful. It is uh, real slick getting down there. Definitely, folks, if you haven't been to uh, Turner Bend store, that's off on Highway 23, and it's about three miles from here. Uh, on the gravel road, we'll be uh, going two and a half miles to get to Highway 23, making a right, but another half mile, it'd be Turner Bend store. Our store's uh, probably been here for a, a long time. They do canoe rentals, and you can uh, camp out there. And inside, they get like a little souvenir shop, and you can also have a little deli in there. I went in there, I checked the place out. They got all kinds of like t-shirts, uh, little trinkets. Uh, souvenirs and what I uh, checked out was their stickers when I was in there I picked up one of the stickers uh, I'll probably put it on my truck camper now for sure it's the uh, pig trail scenic byway uh, showing that I uh, rode it on my motorcycle if you haven't been on the uh, uh, pig trail definitely uh, take a look at it uh, drive it it's, uh, it's a pretty cool little drive if you've never done it before well we're on the subject of uh, eating i want to say probably breakfast is my best uh, meal of the day first thing in the morning uh, getting up getting around and uh, throwing on some uh, sausage and biscuits and gravy and eggs i'm gonna say that's probably my uh, best meal of the day i really like uh, making breakfast uh, what's some of you guys is, uh, good things to eat while they're camping i usually i pretty much eat the same i would in a sticks and bricks house I think uh, what I've been here, I've been uh, fried some pork chops, uh, fried some potatoes, uh, the course breakfast, sausages, and stuff like that. Uh, what are some of your guys' uh, favorite meals to make while you're out camping? I like to kind of keep it simple, but every once in a while, I'll uh, fry up some stuff. Uh, I've even fried chicken up before I hear camping and all, all kinds of other stuff. But yeah, leave any comments, so let me know what y'all's favorite uh, meal is while you're out camping. And while you're commenting that in the uh, uh, comments, uh, if you have any good recipes you want to pass along to me that you do uh, while you're out camping, uh, just leave it in the comment section and uh, I'll take a look at it. I might even do it if it's uh, something I'm uh, interested in. Yeah, folks, like I said earlier, I'm dispersed camp right next to uh, Mulberry River. What I'm going to do next is uh, go ahead and take you down there, right down the road right here. I'm going to walk down there and uh, show you Mulberry River. Right there is uh, Shore Lakes Road. And so right here is a road I'm dispersed camped on, 1501X. And down there, you can probably hear the rapids. There's a uh, Mulberry River. Let's go ahead and take a look. Camping spot, folks. Right down there, you can see a sign right there. That's where the uh, river is. Not very far from the Mulberry River right here. I'm gonna say uh, this morning I went down here and there was a, a four-wheeler park down there, the yellow one. About an hour ago I walked back down there and it's still there. So I don't know if he's 
There's no hunting season in right now, except for bow season. Thinking maybe he parked down there with his bow and walked in somewhere for bow hunt. I'm not for sure. I see if he's still down there. Yeah, you can see the river right there. Yeah, it looks like that yellow four wheeler's still here. Huh. Mulberry River, folks. I'll definitely probably come back here this summer. We're doing some swimming and fishing. I did uh, come out here and try some fishing. I think it's just too cold. I didn't catch anything. I'll show you guys something. Walk the bank. I found some uh, horse apples. I didn't know what it was. I texted my brother, asked him what what, he, what these are called. He said they're horse apples. Let me show you one. If I can find another one. Yeah, there's a horse apple right there. Right on the bank. It goes by many names if I did a Google search on them. Most common is horse apples. This is pretty solid. You said it's not worth eating. Is that cool looking though? This thing's like softball size. Let's see. There's numerous of them. I want to say the came. There's some more smaller ones. That's pretty cool. I think uh, the farmers used to grow these before there was a uh, barbed wire. They grow real thick. They make a fence line out of them. The animals can't get out of like in the old days, 1800s, early 1900s. This thing is pretty cool. This is Ozarks, folks. Don't disappoint. Hey folks, I'm glad to uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and like always I'll leave my great coordinates to this location in this, this video description. Uh, from now on, or actually the uh, rest of my stay I'll be on my motorcycle. I'll be doing some uh, more exploring in the uh, great Ozarks of Arkansas. Hey, before I go, I want to shout out uh, two people who are subscribed to my channel and they have donated to my channel. If you look at my videos, any of my videos, look at the bottom right, the little thanks button, you can uh, donate to my uh, channel. I wanna uh, shout out two of my subscribers. The first one is uh, John Radford. Uh, he, had, uh, he donated uh, money to my channel and he said thanks in the comment. I appreciate you, John. And the uh, second person is Diane Thornton. Uh, she says, uh, thanks, long time watcher, first time Patreon. I appreciate your coordinates. Count me one of your folks. Hey, Diane, I really appreciate your contribution uh, to my channel. It does go a uh, long way towards uh, gas and helping uh, finance my trips. Appreciate you much and appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, as always, like I said, I'm going to leave the great corners to this location uh, in the bottom of my video, video description. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that like button and definitely leave a comment below. And uh, earlier in this video, I uh, asked you to leave a comment below with some uh, cooking uh, recipes. Uh, definitely, guys, if you got some good uh, camping recipes you want to share with me and share with everybody else, leave it in this video's comments. I'd like to uh, try some uh, different cooking recipes. Hey, guys, appreciate you guys for watching. And definitely hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. And thanks for watching, folks.